Solvency Ratios Problem 1. A company reports total assets of $900,000 and stockholders' equity of $500,000. Calculate the debt ratio. We're focusing on the debt ratio. The debt ratio is pretty straightforward, but it's I want to focus on the idea that it's part of the solvency analysis. The solvency analysis evaluates a company's ability to pay its long-term debts. That's the main focus. That is the main focus. Now, the debt ratio, which there's many different ratios when it comes to solvency analysis. The three big ones or groups of big ones, we have the ratio of fixed assets to long-term liabilities, the ratio of liabilities to stockholders' equity, or debt ratio is also used, which is total liabilities over total assets, and the number of times interest charges earned. So those are the three major categories of these types of solvency ratios. There's other ones as well, but those are the big ones. Those are the big three we'll, talk, we'll, we'll, we'll refer to. The debt ratio, the formula, we just take total liabilities over total assets. That's all you do. And just like you would think, again, because we're focusing on solvency ratios, which is making sure that a company can pay off its long-term debts. So it's total liabilities over total assets, total assets. So let's just go through and calculate this. We have total liabilities over total assets. Now we know total assets are $900,000. We can put that, go ahead and put that denominator. So that's $900,000. We're only given two pieces of information, total assets, total stockholders equity, that's it. Now using the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus stockholders equity. If we know assets are $900,000 and we know that stockholders equity is $500,000, we can solve for liabilities. We can solve for this. Liabilities equal 900,000, the assets, minus the 500,000, which is the stockholders' equity. And that gives us liabilities equal $400,000. $400,000. Think about the account equation. 900,000 equals 400,000 plus 500,000. They equal 900,000 on the left, 900,000 on the right. Boom, you got it. So our liabilities, total liabilities here, $400,000. So that means that the debt ratio here equals 44.44%. Now think about this. You want this number to be as low as possible. You do definitely do not want it to be um, above one. You don't even want it really to be more than 50%. The idea is that you're looking at the total liabilities compared to total assets, and the lower the number, that means you have more security in terms of paying that off. And if you're someone outside the business, like a lender, and you're trying to see this number, that means that if it's high, it's a very leveraged business compared to the stock or equity, and you're le you're less likely to actually to um, lend money to that company because your debt might become junior to other senior debt that's already out there. So keep that in mind. Very important, the debt ratio.